Welcome back to SDRTK. And today we're going to take a look at a 4x1 HDMI switch with audio extraction by T-Smart. Let's check it out. So in this video, I'm going to unbox this 4x1 HDMI switch, then I'll go through its features and specifications. After that, I'll do a walkthrough of the controls as well as the inputs and outputs on the device. So you'll have a good idea how to use this as well as how to connect it up. After that, I have a few demonstrations. First, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the switch up to a monitor with four common inputs, and I'll demonstrate the switching between those inputs. After that, I'll connect the switch up directly to a capture card on my PC. It's going to be an Elgato 4K60 Pro, so we're going to get high quality capture. We can see just what we're getting out of this switch. And after that, we'll go ahead and do an audio demonstration. I'm going to extract some audio through both the optical and analog outputs on this switch and we'll listen and compare them to the original file. Now I regularly review audio video gear and in the interest of transparency I will tell you that T-Smart did send this unit to me for review. However my review, opinions and tutorial as to how to use this device are my own without input from the manufacturer. I will also provide links to help you find this product but know that I am not compensated in any way for the sale of this switch. Now we'll go ahead and unbox the T-Smart 4x1 HDMI switch. And it's in a nice quality box. I see we have the instruction manual on the top. Then we have the switch itself wrapped in some foam, so that'll protect it from getting marked up during shipping. This cardboard tray is also really going to keep things safe, so I like to see that. In the bottom, we have some additional cardboard. Uh, this looks like a spacer. And then we have a box, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll open that box up as well. And inside this box, it looks like we have a couple of items. There's a power adapter as well as a remote control. Notice the power adapter is UL listed. And now we'll open up the switch itself. Switch is all metal construction, uh, feels really good in hand. On the front, we have switches and indicators for HDMI inputs as well as audio output and a power switch. On the back, we have power in, four HDMI inputs and output, as well as the audio outputs. So uh, it looks, uh, looks like a nice package. The T-Smart 4x1 HDMI switch has four HDMI type A inputs, one HDMI type A output, as well as an SPDIF optical output, one analog audio output with a 3.5 millimeter jack, and a five volt input with one amp, and this does include ESD protection. Now the remote is IR and requires two AAA batteries that are not included. HDMI supports up to 3840 by 2160 at 60 hertz, 444. HDCP 2.2 is also supported with 810 and 12 bit color depth. And this switch supports HDR10 and Dolby Vision with a bandwidth of 18 gigabits per second. Audio support includes up to 7.1 channels with Dolby True HD, DTS HD Master, Dolby Digital, and AC3. And we're able to extract audio in either 2.0, 5.1, and there is an auto mode that will select based on what's available. This unit also has EDID management and offers both manual and automatic switching. So taking a look at the switch, I can say again that it is all metal, feels good in hand. There are some vents for cooling on the bottom because you could be running this for a lot of time. The unit itself on the front has an IR sensor as well as indicators for each of the four HDMI sources. There's a push button switch beside it. Now that allows you to select actually each source or put into auto switching mode where it will just switch between the devices. Next to that, we have indicators for the audio extraction. So if we're extracting 2.0 or 5.1, as well as a mode switch that allows us to select them individually or to use automatic. And then finally, we have a power switch on the side. When I flip the unit around to the back, you'll see that there is the power input for five volts. Beside that, there are going to be the four HDMI inputs, the one output, as well as the optical SPDIF connector and the 3.5 millimeter analog audio output. Now we're looking at input number one. I have a Blu-ray player playing a 1080p video. Now I'll switch it over now to input number two, which has a PC on it. Again, 1080p. Oh, we have a video game demonstration here. A really common use case for this type of switcher. Next, I'll go to input number three, which is actually an Amazon 4K Fire Stick. 
So that's giving us an idea of the fact that we can use various devices coming through this switch without having to change our cables and everything around. Now input number four is actually a Nintendo Wii with a component cable connected up to a RetroTank 2X Pro at 720p. And so I've tried to show you a few different resolutions all coming through the switch, the time between switching from one input to the other. And I should mention that this switch also has an auto mode, which allows you to automatically get whatever the latest device is that you've plugged in on screen. So if you're unplugging and plugging all the time, it's really useful. Let me go back to a desk view and we'll have a look. So now I'm on the desk view and you can see that basically if I go in here and push the button and hold it down, all the lights will blink once. And what happens then is the switch is in auto mode where it will automatically again go to the most recent device that's been plugged in. So really useful if you don't want to be switching back and forth manually and you're plugging and unplugging cables all the time. Now we'll go ahead and connect this up directly to a capture card and see how the video itself performs. And now we're connected up directly to the Elgato 4K60 Pro capture card. And so you're looking at a Blu-ray again playing through input one. I'll now press the switch. This will move us over now to input two, which has a PC hooked up to it. I just have a desktop background on there now. And if I move over to input number three, which as you may recall was the Amazon Fire Stick, you'll notice nothing is showing. And that's nothing to do with this switch. All that is is the capture card is not allowing copy protected content from the Amazon Fire Stick to be captured. And then I'll switch over to number four, and that's where we have the Nintendo Wii. And that again is coming through a component cable scaled using a RetroTank 2X Pro. And so again, a variety of inputs coming directly into the capture. And I wanted you to see the quality here because really the resolution is not affected. I don't think the switch is really doing anything to change the quality of the different resolutions I'm passing through it. So it's doing a good job. And now I'm going to go ahead and make some recordings. First, I'll use the optical SPDIF output. Then I'll use the analog 3.5 millimeter output. What we'll do is listen to those recordings, compare them to the original recording to see just how good the audio quality capture is. And now let's listen to the original music and audio extractions from the T-Smart 4x1 HDMI switch. And after listening to the original file, as well as the extractions on my monitor headphones and looking at the Spectrum and Neutron, I have to say that the Switch did a very faithful job of reproducing the audio extracted from the HDMI source. And after completing the test with real-time display on a monitor and direct capture of video, as well as audio extraction, the T-Smart 4x1 HDMI Switch was a very flexible device, allowed me to route a variety of sources, and hopefully this tutorial helped you understand how to get your HDMI gear hooked up to the display of your choice. Thanks for watching my review of the T-Smart 4x1 HDMI switch and we'll see you next time.